Hey, welcome back on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show. And Linda Stevens is here from Artesia Clean and Beautiful. How are you doing today? It's Friday. I'm wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound very convincing, I'm sure, um, but hey. Well, I, I got a... I don't know what was happening this week because it was a regular week. I mean, we yeah, have... but it seemed like it was long. It was... It just... It had a kind of a weird... Yeah. A weird feel to it. And then when I look back, did I get anything accomplished this week? And I did get some things mm-hmm. accomplished this week. I still have a couple of meetings today. I've been trying, like the Dickens, to get the contract nailed down so that we could broadcast Aggie football. Ah, okay. And that's proven to be a... Challenge? A challenge. <laughs> and is that putting uh, it nicely? But I've got a phone call here in a couple hours, and I think we're Well, hasn't it a- always been kind of an, an event to try to get permission to broadcast their stuff well yes and no um back in the day we carried aggie sports Mm -hmm. and we worked directly with the flagship station in las cruces Mm -hmm. and the guy at the flagship station and i went through a whole bunch of different ideas and concepts on how to distribute the programming to their affiliated station so in essence we kind of created the aggie sports network and, and it got up and rolling. And I think they had about five affiliates around the state. There was us, Carlsbad, I think uh, Albuquerque, Grants or Gallup had an affiliate. And then, of course, uh, Almogordo and Las Cruces. Yeah. So these were all the, there was radio stations in all those towns. And so we put the deal together and, and uh, you know, we bought some things and they bought some things. And we had, we had Aggie Sports distributed and it sounded really good. And then some new people came in. And decided that our hick <laughs> cobbled together shoestring organization was was beneath them. Oh dear! And they signed a contract with a uh, company out of Jefferson, Missouri, that uh, distributes content for tons of colleges and some pro teams and stuff like that. It's, mm-hmm. it's a pretty big company, and they do a good job. There's nothing wrong with uh, with what they do, but it's just like you know, you guys aren't good enough. Uh, we need to go with these these people. And ever since they went to that organization, I have just had a terrible time being able to get any kind of communication, conversation, discussion, uh, anything. And so, uh, gosh, it's been four or five years. We just dropped all college yeah, sports but y'all, and y'all, meaning all of the affiliates around the state that mm-hmm. were putting this, managed to get it on in quality content yeah so i don't see a problem well i know but their it, their games were out there everybody got to hear that wanted uh-huh. i don't see a problem <laughs> oh i i know i know and i don't even know how many affiliates they have uh-huh. uh if they if they i'm sure it may be the same number maybe the same stations but the flagship station isn't the same anymore the people at the flagship aren't the same anymore i mean it's just it's it's all it's all different people yeah and what's funny is I the same company in Missouri I deal with for Texas Tech. Mm-hmm. But it's a different person. So when we looked to pick up some Texas Tech sports last fall, phone call, email, contract, they sent me a satellite receiver. Oh, cool. It took like four days to put that together. Yeah. When it came time to renew for this year. Phone call, email. Already had receiver. Already had the receiver. So we're, we're, we're done. We're, we're good to go. Uh, Eastern, you know, I've been talking to John Hauser up at Eastern, and they wanted us to carry uh, Greyhound football. Mm-hmm. And uh, called the guy at the radio station, talked to John, got the paperwork, took, you know, voila, three days. Mm-hmm. It has taken me two weeks to get to where I am today, where I have the phone call today on, on the Aggies. And you're nowhere near close. To and the- it's the same company yeah that did the Texas Tech but it's a different person within that company I wound up I wound up calling Jack Nixon this week and he's the announcer for the Aggies and I've known Jack for you know well we carried Aggie sports before right and I said Jack I don't know what to do <laughs> I said I've called I've emailed I've left messages multiple messages multiple calls I said I don't know I don't know what to do and he said well let me make a couple of phone calls this was uh Wednesday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Thursday morning, I got an email. Uh-huh. Here's what's going on. And about four hours later, 
here's your contract. <laughs> Can we talk? <laughs> cool. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that. That wasn't yeah, the way I wanted to do but, that. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to know somebody. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, we've got people that I want to have that may want to sponsor. They might, well, I can't to go. To give their money, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I can't very well go out and tell clients and we're going to have the Aggies when I don't have the Aggies, you know. Exactly. I want to have the piece of paper in my hand that you says bet. that we have the Aggies before we go around and get people to, well, yeah, you know. Something tangible to say, hey, this is what you're going to be doing. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's holding me up. I can't do that. I can't get that percent. So I finally, yesterday, after I got the actual contract, I was able to email out a couple things that I've been holding up, mm -hmm. sending out because I didn't have... I didn't have that piece of paper. <laughs> Amazing how that piece of paper can be so important sometimes. I know. It's just it's it's crazy. I don't I don't understand it. Um but anyway, it is what it is. Everybody's yeah. busy, everybody's shorthanded, nobody has any employees. Yeah, but you know, at some point we're gonna quit blaming it on COVID too. Everything gets blamed on COVID. Yeah. That's true. Not that your contract was, but still. Oh, I'm sure there's a COVID reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm sure when I actually do talk with this person later today, uh, you know, the, the conversation is, I'm really sorry, but, and then I'm going to hear. Uh, yeah. And, and COVID's, you know, I've been working at home because of COVID. But that's blah, just blah, a blah. good excuse that people are using, whether it is or it isn't. You know, <laughs> we got to quit that because after a while, that ain't going to fly anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, I, and that's not to say I don't, you know, I got to get some things done. I'm behind on a few things that I've got to get taken care of. But, I, you know, we're having a meeting today. We've got the Eddie County Fair coming up. Uh, we've got a couple more meetings next week because the high school sports season is going to be here before you know it. Um, I ordered a couple things. There's a there's a neat little addition we want to make to the to the football broadcasts that we hadn't done for a long, long time. And, uh, and, uh, and so I've ordered a piece of equipment that will allow us to do this thing if mm -hmm. we get permission to do that. And so, well, I mean, we're, we're working on uh, getting ready for the fall mm -hmm. sports season, but it's, uh, it's going to be here before we know it. Everything and then, is. And Christmas then, and then, will be here before we know it, oh, folks. Know. <laughs> and, then, and then you read in the news about the masks and the, the you know, the increase. California in is going back as of what, today? Is it all of California or was it just uh, Los I Angeles think it County? Was, all right. I just thought it said on the news that California was locking yeah. up with, you know, you have to be masked up if you intend to go in a building. Right, right. I, I was reading a story here. This is off of townhall.com. And this is a commentary. This is not a story. So I'm going to say it right now it's a, it's a commentary by Matt Vespa of uh, townhall.com. New study on antibody response shows we should hit the brakes on push for COVID vaccine boosters. And he starts out, he says, I'm sick of this COVID nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> so is the rest of the world. <laughs> but like Hunter Biden's crack cocaine addiction, the liberal media can't stop using and peddling panic. <laughs> yeah, And uh, exactly. So he says, with the Delta variant around, we must be reminded of two things. One, all three vaccines are effective against the Delta variant. And that's, and that's true. Mm -hmm. All three. Second, it's not more lethal and doesn't make you sicker, the Delta variant. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it more transmissible? Sure. But with the most at-risk population, those who are 65 and older, already fully vaccinated for the most part. Yeah. The big spike we saw over the holidays are not coming back, much to the chagrin of the liberal media who wants to keep us afraid for all time. So that's the, the commentary from, from Matt, uh, Matt Vespa. He says, Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines, which most Americans have received, hold up well, as does Johnson & Johnson's cocktail. As Reuters reported, like Pfizer and Moderna, J&J's vaccine produces strong antibody response that does not wane. So if you've been vaccinated, you've got the antibodies, and the antibodies look like they're lasting a long time, and it looks like they'll help you. Yeah. If you get exposed to the Delta variant, does it mm -hmm. mean that you won't get it? No. But if you do wind up getting it, it'll be mild for most people. Right. It'll be mild right. symptoms and then you'll, you know, you'll flush it out or whatever and then you'll move on. So, but I don't know for some of these people, Linda, are you ready for, uh, to be told what's essential and non-essential to wear a mask or not wear a mask? That are you is, ready? 
I can't say it on the radio. Well, maybe I could. I don't know. <laughs> Tell us what you really think, Linda. <laughs> Do you really want to know? <laughs> Politically correct? No, I'm not ready for somebody to tell me again. I mean, it. we have been corrupt. Yes, you're the media. But we have been corrupted by the media. The media has done this to us. There's businesses that aren't open because the owners have such a fear. Well, get over it, honey. Look at the rest of the world. We're walking around in this community without face masks. I saw one yesterday, and, I, and it was so strange because we haven't seen it in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. If they choose, more power to them. But I am not driving around in my car with a mask and a face shield. Right. Nor am I in my office or my yard or anywhere else unless I absolutely have to to go into a business. <clears throat> yes, I have been vaccinated. A friend of mine that I goes to church um i guess you would call them a long haul they had covid they managed to get over it they were really 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 sick they still have good days and bad days mm -hmm. and this is months right they have times where they're, they're exhausted all day long they don't have the energy hardly to move right um brain fog as they call it and they're they're not old so you don't have to be over 60 or 65 to have um serious problems after the fact right you know it can happen to anybody any age and i don't think so, anybody is diminishing that or minimizing no, that i think everybody understands that they're not wearing a mask anymore and they have been vaccinated right plus the fact they were sick so just yesterday for example, and I've got it on the computer if you're watching online, 155 new cases in, which, in New Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh, 207,000 since the pandemic began. There were uh, 10 deaths from COVID-19. Uh, of those, there were six in Chavez County, 11 in Eddy County. Deaths uh, new or ca new, new cases? cases new okay. cases. As far as the uh, deaths, uh, note... Uh, there was a female in her 60s from Chavez County, a male in his 60s from Lee County, um, no, no one from Eddy County, fortunately. Uh, and then they go back, and sometimes it takes a while for the death to get reported through the system. Mm -hmm. So now they have an additional category, which is death uh, over 30 days. So the death was recorded over 30 days ago, but it's just now being tabulated in these results. But, you know, if you die from something else, you have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. You just happen to have COVID. They test you, and the test comes back. That doesn't mean you died from COVID, but they're going to call it that. It, it, it I believe that's the correct. You get uh, killed in a car wreck. I hope they don't do that. Going to the hospital. Yeah. And you had COVID. Well, you didn't die from the car wreck, despite the fact that you really, really, any common person with a brain could right. tell. Oh, no, you died from COVID. One of the top counties in terms of the new cases Thursday was the 88220 uh, zip code. Okay. And they had 10 new cases in that mm. zip code, and that was number two in the, in, the, in the cases. So, I mean, the state is looking at these numbers, and, um, and they're, and they're kind of sort of hinting at the fact that they may... Uh, well, she better not. They, they may want to come back with uh, some mask mandates and some other restrictions. And I think it's got the folks with the schools, you know, parents and teachers and everybody a little bit worried that... If they do this again, let me tell you, the kids are so screwed up right now. Yeah. They can't afford to do this again. All right. Hey, hold that thought. Linda Stevens will be back. We'll talk more uh, on the other side. This is KSVP Artesia, K229.